To create the first triangular prism, we'll start with a flat triangle. Activate the Polygon tool, and to set the number of sides, type 3, which appears in the Sides field, and press Enter. Click any two points to create the triangle. To set the length of one of the triangle edges, activate the tape measure and click any two corners of the triangle. Type the length you want, such as 100, which appears in the Length field, and press Enter. Then click Yes to resize the model. Orbit so that you can see the blue axis, and click the Pencil tool, which draws edges. Start at any triangle corner, move the mouse up in the blue direction, and Enter 100. Then press the Escape key to end the edge. Repeat this at the other two corners. And then create edges connecting the tops of these three horizontal lines. To create the second triangular prism, we'll start with another flat triangle. Use Polygon to create the triangle and tape measure to set the edge length to 100. Then click the push-pull tool, click the triangular face, move the mouse up, and enter 100 for the vertical length. Same result as the first method, but much quicker. To create the third triangular prism, we'll start with one triangle and one square. First create the triangle as before, and this time I'm using edges of 50 units. Then create another triangle, and enter 4S to change the triangle into a square. The square's edges must equal the triangle's edges, but using tape measure we'll resize both objects, so we'll separate the square from the rest of the model by making it into a group. Select the entire square, right click on it, and choose Make Group. Right click again to edit, this, edit the group, and this time use Tape Measure within the edited group. This time you're resizing only what's inside the group. To finish editing, right-click away from the square and choose Close Group. Select the square, use the Move tool to connect it to the triangle, then use the Rotate tool to spin it into place. With Rotate still active and the square still selected, we'll rotate the square 90 degrees. Define the rotation axis by clicking one end of it, and dragging the mouse to the other end of it, clicking a corner of the square, and then moving up 90 degrees. To copy the square around the triangle, find the center of the triangle first, press the Control or Option key to make copies, click any two corners of the triangle, then type 2x and press Enter to make copies. The last step is to select the triangle at the bottom, activate Move, and use the Control or Option key to copy the triangle to the top of the prism. The fourth triangular prism won't have specific edge lengths, but all edges will be equal. Start with a triangle of any size. Use push-pull to pull it up, but make it higher than it needs to go. We need to copy one edge of the original triangle, but this triangle first must be exploded so that its edges can act separately. Right-click on the triangle and choose Explode Curve. Select an edge, activate Rotate, press Control or Option to make a copy, Orient the protractor along the vertical face and make a 90 degree copy. The copied edge is along an existing edge, 
so you can't see where it ends. Activate push-pull again and click the top of the prism. Move the mouse along the edge where you place the copied edge and stop when you hit the end point. Now all of the vertical edges have the same length as the triangle edges.